have this interesting trick that I have for when the weather gets bad and I still want to go hiking. Look at my hair. I look like a mom. I look like... <sighs> I don't know. Take me as I am. I go all the way to like central... I'd even go to eastern Washington. I just... If the weather's bad, I just drive out of it. It works out really well. It's just a really long drive. So let's get going. Can you hear that? Anyways, oh, it stopped. I can only hold my pee for about a hundred miles before I have to stop, which means that I stop at the same exact gas station in Cleelum every single time. I live in Seattle, but I'm a regular at a gas station in Cleelum. Okay, I gotta pee now. Oh, guys, cold. Do you guys remember when you were young and you could just like wear a tank top and like, and it could be freezing cold outside and it didn't bother you and you could just like run around and your youth would keep you warm? That dissolves it as you get older. For three quarters of a mile. Something else I always think about whenever I'm in Cleelum. I always think about how weird it is that there's a I believe it's a chimpanzee reserve out here. I think that's so weird. It snows out here. Why? What? There was like a wildfire last summer and it's like, oh, the chimpanzee reserve. Oh my God. A wildfire, champs, uh, none of it makes sense to me. <laughs> I think it's so bizarre. I don't even know like what I would think of as like chimpanzee reserve land, but when I think of a chimpanzee reserve, I think of them kind of like free range, kind of like horses in a field. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto North Oaks Avenue. Only like chimpanzees in a field. It's really weird. I know that that's wrong. My idea of a chimpanzee reserve is incorrect. I know that, but I- Turn right onto North Oaks Avenue. Because I don't know what it is, I don't know how to change what I think. And that's what I think of when I think of Cleelum. Okay guys, we made it. I got, I got this. I don't know what's gonna really happen with it. Kind of forgot that the last time I tried to use it, the wind caught it and threw it into a fence. So, I guess we'll find out. I just did an update on all the stuff. I should have GPS out here. I think we'll be okay. This is my first shot taking it, like, out. There goes nothing. Kawichi. Guys, it's so freaking beautiful out here. I just. By the way, this is how I decided to attach my remote. It's so big! Why in the world did they make it so big? Attached to my backpack. God, don't make it so big!
the first real outdoors thing. I did it. I beat my fear. Oh, I'm so afraid of losing this. The wind held out. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Just hoping I can get the footage off that. That, my friends, saved me. Lovely day. I'm very pleased with that. And I go back to my car. And then I drive all the way home. Which is pretty far. But it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Ugh. Ooh. Is that an apple in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Pretty gross. It's an apple. Watching me, see me so hard.